Now let's head back over to the Dick Vitale Gala. SNN's Ben Bobick is there and joins us live with an update. Good evening, Ben. How's it going out there? How are you, Nicole? I'm with Howie Schwab, former ESPN guy. I didn't. I, did, I told you I didn't get a stat for you to stump you, so it was a little oh, bit rough. I'm glad. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's been a I'm while for you. tonight. <laughs> well, he has been to all 12 Dick Vitale yes. Gals. You, you were there. You said when it started in his house, there were 350 yes. people there. Talk yep. a little bit about that. I mean, that, it's evolved clearly so much. It was amazing because Dick wanted to just do something to support the V Foundation. Nick Valvano and he spoke, and they ended up setting this thing up, and it was a great way to start and then Dick said I want to make it even bigger and now it's evolved into this and it's an amazing amazing night this is your first one yeah you're gonna have a great time oh I'm, I'm ecstatic and it's like a it's, it's amazing I've heard about it throughout my life and it, it, it's great so I have to ask what is what has evolved the most over the years with the Gallup with, with the exception being the funding because obviously you get more people you're gonna get right. more money but what do you feel like is, is evolved as so much with the, you know besides the venue and all that the support the support for this event between the celebrities, the local people involved. I mean, it's amazing how much is done to produce this event. It's a year-round thing to, to put this night together. And they do an amazing, amazing job. Mary Keneally and Janet Allen and the people behind the scenes and, and Dick and Lorraine Vitale. And it, it's an amazing event. And tonight they're gonna hopefully raise $3 million for cancer research and they're saving lives. And that's just amazing. You're right. It's the biggest thing. I have to ask. We had the privilege this week to speak to a lot of the courageous kids and kind of hear right. their story. We heard from survivors and some that are still battling, and it touches you so much. Absolutely. So I have to ask for someone who's been here for all 12 years. What's it mean to sit there in the crowd and listen to some of these kids' stories and actually hear and, and look at some of these kids' parents who have, have to go through so many hours of chemotherapy just to battle for another day? And what's that like well, to see that I, firsthand? I've been lucky enough to meet several of them and get to know several of them, and I'm I'm really touched by a Tatum Parker from Indiana who's a great young lady who then has turned around and helped other kids. Uh, a young man named Fisher who's had like 1,200 chemotherapies. I mean, it's crazy. But he's doing okay and he's always smiling. He's always happy. As he, you know, if you think you have troubles in life, no, you have nothing compared to what these people go through. And these kids, you learn so much from just seeing the smiles on these kids' faces when they get another day, and they, th this means so much to them. So uh, it's it's a wonderful event. Yeah, we're, I'm excited to experience for the first time. We appreciate you taking some time for us, My Howard. Pleasure. And we'll be checking back in back to you guys. Ben, thank you, and of course we'll have more gala coverage throughout our broadcast tonight. Yes.